All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and install the latch. When we're installing the latch, we wanna make sure the flat side is facing the inside of our house. We're all good. And there we have it. Hi guys, and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Today, I'm here with Cindy. How are you? Amazing. <laughs> and we have a wonderful new guest. Hi, I'm Chanel. Thank you so much for having me today. Tell us about yourself. So um, I'm a Toronto girl, love the city, and I'm a huge traveler. I'm actually off to Carnival next week in Trinidad, which I'm super pumped for. Big foodie and super excited to be here. Awesome. So today we're gonna be talking about the Ultralock Smart Lock. And Ultralock actually sent us over this to do a review on, but before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel as we release videos on a weekly basis. And don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified. That's right, ring our bell. And we also want to show you how to actually install this lock with your tools. So make sure you stick around for that. <laughs> so we've already shown you a video on the Shaleg lock and the Pin Genie, as well as the Titan lock. The links are down below in the description box. We put a link in the description below so you can buy this yourself on Amazon. And just a reminder, if you click on any of our links through Amazon, you are supporting our channel and allowing us to showcase more gear towards you guys. Which we're really excited about. And mm -hmm. speaking of gear, now there are four ways that you can actually use this device. So you can actually do a finger scan. There is a hidden key slot underneath. You can use the digital touchpad and you are also able to use it from your Bluetooth phone. The lock has a decoy security system, allowing you to put in random numbers before or after your password to prevent people from seeing what you're doing. Also, it limits people from seeing the fingerprints on the lock. Let me demonstrate how it works. So, I could put in random numbers before my actual password, which is 4321. Now, entering numbers afterwards, watch it still open. Easy as that. Now I'll show you how to set up your pin and our fingerprint technology. Follow me and the instructions on page seven and eight. Super easy to follow. You need to create a user ID for a person that's between one to eight digits. Let me show you how we set that up. So we're gonna hold our enter for three seconds. So now our admin code, which has already been set up earlier today is 7777. Enter. Now to set up a new person is one, enter. And let's give that person an ID, zero, 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 one. So now we can choose to either set up a fingerprint specific to that person or a code. Let's start with a code. How about one, two, three, four, enter. Now it's gonna ask us to verify that code again, one, two, three, four. And now that's been set up. Now let's see how that password works. One, two, three, four. All set. Now we're gonna set up our lock using our fingerprint technology. Just like before, we're gonna hold our reset for three seconds. Now asking for our admin code, which we've already set up, 7777, enter. Setting up a new user. And then the code we already used before, 0001, enter. Now it's gonna ask for our fingerprint that we wanna use. Lifting off, it's gonna ask for that placement again. And now we're all good to go. Now let's try it out. I'm all set. Another really cool feature is the passage mode. You can turn it on and off. Now this is super handy when you set this and maybe you have office hours between nine and five and you want easy access. So as you see right now, we're in no passage mode, completely locked. So let me show you how to set that up. Just like before, we're gonna hold our reset for three seconds, set in our admin code, and now we're gonna push three and enter. Passage mode is gonna be set on. See how easy that is? Now, if we wanted to turn that passage mode off, we'd do the exact same thing, entering three again, and that would be locked right away. 
Another great feature is lockout mode. This allows you to actually turn off the keypad and the fingerprint technology. Same process as before, but you're gonna use code four. The great part about it is the key is actually located right underneath the lock. Turning that, you're now entered and locking it very easy. The great part about this technology is you can actually use the key, pin, and fingerprint technology all at once. So now we're gonna set up our lock and connect it with our app. We've already created our login, so we're gonna put in our email there. Now we're gonna add a new device. Now we're gonna scan for our ultra lock device. There we go, super easy. Picked it up right away. Now we're gonna use our admin code, which was already set up, 7777. And next. Now we can actually label this. We can call it front door. And okay. Perfect. So now connecting our device, we can actually lock it and unlock it using the app. Super simple. So now we are gonna look through users. We can create users very simply, just as we labeled them numbers, sequence. How about we label eight with a name, Cindy. And next, making it a little more unique. Now we can go into logs. We can see the history of people that have entered and the times they've done that. Making it easy to track who's been in and out of the room. Now the ultra lock status. Currently we're on normal mode. However, we can change it to passage mode or lockout mode. A lot easier using the app than setting with codes three or four as I shown you before. How about we just set it back to normal though? Perfect. Now we even have the shake to open. By shaking my device, it'll actually unlock the lock right away. Now advanced, we have the options of backing up or importing anything from the app. That's how you use the app, super simple. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and install the latch. When we're installing the latch, we wanna make sure the flat side is facing the inside of our house. And there we have it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and install the exterior. And when we're doing that, we wanna make sure that the wire is going through the top. And we're gonna fit that right in there. Okay, so with that, we're gonna grab the back part of it and you wanna make sure these are sticking out and we're gonna put the wire through the smallest hole. So you can leave that, it won't fall down. So with this, we wanna make sure that our drill is on the lowest setting because we don't wanna damage anything. But before we go ahead with the drill, we're gonna just lightly screw in one of our screws hold everything together. Okay, so we put them all in to start them and our drill is on the lowest setting.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the spindle in. We're gonna fit it right in there. Now, if your door is over 42 milliliters um, thick, you wanna use the spring. And what we would do with that is we would put it right in here and then we would fit it in. But in this case, our door is perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug in our cable right in there. We're just gonna fit that. And we're just gonna fit our spindle right through the inside. And there we go. Right now that's on. We're gonna take our smallest screw, the little black ones, and the smallest one is just gonna fit right at the top here. Okay, and the two larger ones gonna fit right at the bottom. Perfect. All right, so after we're done with that, we're gonna take the handle and we're just gonna push that right in like that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just push in our batteries. And snap this right into place. And our last and final screw. We're all good. And there we have it. Thank you for watching our video guys we really think this is a great lock for your home or your office please don't forget to subscribe to our channel please leave us some questions and comments below don't forget to follow us facebook and instagram and please don't forget to check out our um, website homeautomationx.com